it went wide of the net. 15 shots for St. Anselm. As they set up on their third power play. Drive on. Tipped in front. Chance for Conger. Now Cooper. And Simons once again keeps it out. Cooper. No one on her in the slot. She couldn't bury it over the left shoulder. Especially when there's a lot of traffic in front. What happens? It's a shot on. A right toe save is made by Simons. Katie Meehan skates to her left. Shuffles. And throws it off the wall. Other side taken over. Conger. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Monaco shot. Zip through Meehan. And the follow-up. She scores. Power play goal for Katie Meehan. And finally, finally, St. Anselm is able to break the ice. 43 minutes and 31 seconds into this game. Katie Meehan gets her eighth goal on the power play. In the two games in Providence against the Brown Bears on January 24th and 25th. Left pad save. Kukas. Just her fourth of the evening. Good breakout feed. Galini two on two with Aaron Myers. Galini tried to find Myers at the seam on a follow-up opportunity. It was Gottwald who couldn't redirect it on net. Now slip through Hussan. And a pad save. Another pad save is made by Simons. Giveaway here is Galini. She shoots and she scores. Bar down for Kelly Galini. What a snipe. Simons has now been beaten over the left shoulder and right there with the right shoulder. 5.03 to go and the lead is doubled for St. Anselm on a beautiful shot by Kelly Galini, her fourth of the year. And a highlight reel one. Tenth point of the year for Galini. She had four points in the opening weekend and had assists in both games against St. Michael's last week. It's now a three-game point streak for Kelly Galini. That should settle things. Drop feed, Courier, plenty of real estate. She walks in and scores! Kendra Courier looked off defenders and put a shot that goes high to be Vika Simons, goal number three of the night. And Courier, first goal of the season, second of her career. 